AVA represents the moment in time when I started thinking about design and culture as one. It, it stems back from a trip I took to Guatemala in 2006, and I was working with some local textile artisans there to this market in Chichicastenango, and the color and the food and the people, everything is just so overwhelming. So, you know, I took a picture of this guy carrying an impossibly large sack of avocados on his head. And I always use that picture as the timestamp for when I started thinking about how design changes wherever you are. So the big. All the leather I use is veg tan, which basically means it's been vegetable dyed, but there's no pigment added. And what's really cool about this leather is it actually will caramelize and change over time, both with sunlight or the oils in your hands, and to me it just gets better with age. So this one started out this color as light as this. I sort of have three main techniques. I have sort of the bold geometric where it's the bold patterning and I leave some of that natural leather color coming through so it patinas and ages over time. And then I also use a wax resist batik style where I'm actually applying a resist first, um, whether that's in wax or another color and then staining over the top so you get the really beautiful tonal effect. And then with the block prints, I'm actually hand carving my own blocks in house and then stamping individual shapes onto leather in a repeating form. And to be honest, that's the fun part. You know, I, when I, a big impetus for starting my own company was to get my hands dirty again and wanting to paint and wanting to experiment and play. And that's what I get to do, which is awesome.